Meet Winnie Wangoi, a poultry farmer from Juja in Kiambu County, one of the urban and peri-urban areas in Kenya where poultry farming is growing rapidly. Winnie is one of 50 pilot farmers involved in the practice and behavior study by the Food and Agriculture Organization, FAO, under the Africa Sustainable Livestock 2050, funded by the USAID. I met FAO like three years ago, and I have gone to their seminars, several of them, many in Nairobi and others in Machakos, and they really insist on proper practices on preparing of my chicken up to the time I take them to the market. This project um, uh, called An uh, Africa Sustainable Livestock are trying to safeguard public health about uh, emerging infectious diseases and some of these diseases are coming from livestock and into humans. From the study, it was noted that stakeholders tend more to adopt practices that are anticipated to have a positive impact on their business, such as vaccination. <laughs> to change this, a checklist was developed jointly with county and national veterinary services with priority biosecurity practices that could lead to the reduction of emerging zoonotic diseases such as salmonella and to mitigate antimicrobial resistance. That checklist formed our basis of sensitizing and training all the actors. Kwa checklist kuna mambo ya usafi vile mkulima anafaa kuwa msafi vile anafaa kuva kukuzake vile anafaa kuzi, kuziosha mimi nikifika nina wa, wakumbusha vile wanafaa kuva Pao, kuna mambo wameleta ambayo inatusaidia kutuonyesha particularly kuchinja kuku kupaki kuku kuzibeba na njia ya kuchamusha maji vizuri ili tuweze kutoa manyoya yote kwa kuku training from fao ime tusaidia sana kwa sababu hatukuwa tunajua kuna the clean area and the dirty area but after training tuna separate the feathers and the carcasses kila kitu kinaenda separately but the training tulipatiwa certificate at least ime improve kasi yetu tunapata kasi mingi kuliko fanya tulikuwa tunapata hapo awali with our training there has been uh, reduced mortalities within their frogs the birds also gain the slaughter weight faster, and this gives them good money. Although there are laws governing the poultry value chain business in Kenya, there exist notable gaps. The laws are there, but the munition has not been very good. In the future, to geoba wachi jaji wote wa pate hi elimu ili uchijaji na usafi wa kuku ukuwe sawa.